Hey guys, it's Victoria. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be doing another winter look. So the winter look that I'm doing is actually this set right here. I have a little thing on my channel where I try and recreate acrylic nail sets and I try to do them in poly gel. So here I have the person who posted the picture. Her name is Liz dot underscore dot zen. She's a very talented acrylic nail tech and I really want to try this look in poly gel. So pretty much it is a French tip that has the white tip that fades into clear and there's glitter and there's snowflakes and everything. It's really pretty. I'm not going to be doing all the gem stuff but I do want to try out this French tip. So I'm going to go ahead get into that. So here are my nails. I'm not going to be showing you guys the prepping process because in my last video I take you guys step by step on how to prep your nails for poly gel. So I'm gonna do that off camera. If you haven't seen that, go check it out. So everything I did in that video, I'm gonna do now and I'm going to come back to you once I have base coat on my nails. All right, so I am all prepped and primed. Have my little base. All right, so I'm going to use my McCart 335 color. This is my favorite nude to use for like French tips or V cuts or slant nails so I'm going to apply a bead I, I have my slip solution and my brush I'm using my Gershon brush all right so it's voiceover Victoria and I just wanted to say that I'm not explaining what I'm doing on my pointer finger because it's been a while since I've done a French tip and I just needed to refresh my memory on what I do and what I keep in mind when I'm doing one. So when I get to my middle finger, that is when I will be giving you guys an explanation of exactly what I'm doing. All right, I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna cure that. So now that's cured. Okay, so during this one, I will explain a little bit more of what I'm doing. So when I'm doing a French tip, first I think I got way too much for that ring finger, not ring, I think I got way too much for my pinky, so I use a smaller bead. First thing I like to do is spread the product around and kind of get it to the shape of my cuticle, but I'm not going to smooth it all the way into my cuticle yet. As you can see, there's still a gap between my skin and the product. That's because as I'm working on the smile line, the product's gonna move, it's gonna shift, and it's gonna settle. So I don't wanna perfect my cuticle and then go into this and work on the smile line and come back and have to fix my cuticle so I'm just going to leave that until after my smile line is perfect and because it was kind of already in a circle I just kind of pull up on areas that need it that it needs to be higher on and I push back where it needs to be lower on and then you can decide the shape of yours you can decide if you want your smile line to be more rounded or come to more of a point i'm kind of somewhere in the middle of those two so like i want it to come to somewhat of a point but i want it to be rounded out a round point <laughs> all right so like i said once that smile line's done i will go and i will fix my cuticle smooth it in thin it out towards my skin with a lot of sub solution too. I love getting my spatula and sliding it in between the product and my skin because it leaves the perfect size gap and then I cure it. Okay, I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other ones. They are all going to be French tips. I have another video like this up on my channel where I try to recreate an acrylic design with poly gel and I think it's so fun because it's kind of like a not an experiment for me but a little bit of a challenge because I have nothing to reference except for the photo it's not like there's a tutorial video on how they did it and even if they did that's using acrylic so I really like that I get to use the skills that I've learned and the skills that I have about poly gel and kind of just fill in the blanks and figure out how to get from point A to point B with an entire different like medium of nail extension so I don't know I just really like it so I was like I should do another video like that all right so I'm gonna do 
the rest of my fingers on both hands off camera just because it's super repetitive i'm doing the exact same thing right, so i did all of the nails i'm just going to wipe off that sticky layer with some alcohol so this is the first nail that i did and it is very thick compared to the others you can just tell by looking at it without me even having to like turn it on its side it's just super thick so I'm definitely going to file the surface of this, but right now I'm going to move into fixing up the shape of my smile line with a file. I have an 8080 Grit Zebra file. I have my dust collector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it on the edge right here and I'm going to place it right around the edge of that line. And I'm just going to sharpen it up. When you're doing this smile line, you want to make sure you don't smooth it completely into the nail. You want to make sure that there's like a lip of product right there because you won't be able to um, to file it if it's not thick enough in that area. So leave the edge a little bit thick. Just go around it and sharpen it up. If some are more round or one or some are more pointy, you definitely want to fix up the shape. And I'm going to do that to the rest of them. But before I do that, I want to thin this out a little bit. I made it way too thick. Um, so I'm going to do that. But to the rest of the nails, I'm only going to be filing the smile line. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next step, which is to line the smile line with white. This is the white poly gel I'm using from the Ohuhu poly gel kit that I reviewed a few weeks ago. White is only like lining the smile line and then it's going to fade into the clear nail. Her nails are extremely long. So yes, I'm recreating this, but I can't function with nails that long, I don't think. So obviously I did my own length. I might have to extend the length that I have already just because I don't think I can fit all that I wanna fit. There is some white and then some clear and the glitter covers the clear. I also do have some like snowflake glitters. I'm just a little bit nervous <laughs> that it's not going to come out good. The first step is to definitely get all the product around the smile line. Get it into the creases and crevices. Now I'm trying to get all of the white poly gel kind of like in line with itself. Yeah, as you can see, I don't have that much space left on the actual tip. <gasps> what? How did that happen? Okay. It's interesting. <laughs> it's fine. I'm just confused. Okay. I'm still going to work on it. Okay, so I'm just fading it into the clear. Like I said, I definitely will have to extend this so i don't really care about leaving too much space i just want it to fade so i'm using pressure in the belly of my brush even using the tip of my brush to feather it out i'm gonna cure that all right so to extend them i'm definitely gonna have to use some forms i'm going to round it up okay so I've got something. I don't know how much I love it, but I kind of have an idea of how I'm going to go about the rest of them. First things first is just a little bit of white. I actually think the last time I had too much white. The tip is meant to be clear, so I'm going to make sure that there's no white on the clear tip. The fade's not completely even, so I'm just wiping away where it was a little bit higher so that it's all the same level. And now I'll just continue using pressure until it's perfect. I think with the glitters, it'll be okay. So I'm gonna cure that. Okay, so I have my little um, form on so that I can make the nail longer. Now, I've decided to work smarter, not harder. I'm actually, I'd rather use this one. I'm using Builder Gel in a bottle from Gelish to paint on a clear tip instead of having to use poly gel. And I'm gonna cure.
I'm using some base coat so that my glitter and stuff has a something to stick to. I'm gonna put one right there. I have my little fan brush. I'm using that for the glitter. I got this glitter from that Ohuhu poly gel kit. You guys can't really see the glitter, but I can. There we go. I'm gonna get a little bit more glitter to cover up a little line. Clean up what I don't like. So here's what we're working with. I think that's cute. I'm curing that. We're doing it again now on my ring finger. Now I'm just gonna keep working on that off camera. Okay, so quite a few things have happened. So I finished the design on this hand and on this hand, the tip just like completely broke off. I've also broken my cuticle nippers. I'm just ready to kind of move on and get this done. I'm losing my snowflakes. I gotta put a new one on there. The next step is to encapsulate. I have my McCart clear, a nice, decent bead because I have a very flat nail right now so I need an apex all right so here's what it's looking like all encapsulated I'm gonna do the exact same to the rest all right, you guys, so I finally finished encapsulating all of the nails. Here's how they're looking. They're very long, oh my goodness. Um, so the next step would be to file these, which I am too tired to do. So I think what I'm gonna do is do the other side, go to bed, wake up in the morning, and finish everything. All right, you guys, it is the next morning and it's time to finish these nails up. I have my hand file to reshape the nails. And with my e-file, I'm gonna be using three bits. So I have my medium grit ceramic safety drill bit, my mandrel in a sanding band for the end just to kind of smooth everything over, and my needle bit to get around my cuticle. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the rest of my nails. Here's what it's looking like. I'm gonna go ahead and buff up my nails with a little buffing buck. All right, so I just buffed out all of the scratches and the nails are looking pretty good. All that's really left is um, to like rinse my hands so that I get all the dust off and to top coat. Because I had to like extend the nails, they started off looking like this and now they look like this. Yeah, they definitely came a long way. So I'm finally done. I'm just gonna be top coating. This is my SXC top coat. I do wish there was a little bit more like just clear, but that is so pretty. And also when you have clear nails, it's always good to hit the back of the nail with some uh, top coat. I am gonna show you guys the picture again so you can see how close I got. I think what I'm lacking from that picture is the length. And I think because of the length, I don't have as much clear nail as she had. So I went ahead and did both of my hands. So just keep in mind that her nails are extremely long. They're way longer than mine. Here is the picture. And then here is my version of it. So yeah. I just think that they're so pretty. I am so happy that I get to rock these nails for a few days. Alright, let me stop fangirling over the nails. 
I'm gonna get my cuticle oil. All right, you guys, so that is the end of this video. I really like how the nails turned out. I hope you enjoyed watching me try to recreate an acrylic set using poly gel. I really had a lot of fun doing it. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.